deliver conviction. David Muthoka, KTN News, Nairobi. Aliyekuwa mwaniaji mwakilishi wa Kike County ya Kiambu Gladys Chania ndiye mshukiwa mkuu katika mauaji ya mumewe George Mwangi ambayo mwili wake ulipatikana umetupwa katika msitu wa Kieni Gatundu kaskazini Jumatano wiki hii. Haya ni kwa mujibu wa makachero ambao wamemtia mbaroni Chania pamoja na washukiwa wengine watatu ili kusaidia katika uchunguzi. Sisile wa kesho madhuva na taarifa zaidi. Siku mbili baada ya kupatikana kwa mwili mwenda zake George Mwangi ukiumefungwa ndani ya mfuko wa plastiki na kutupwa katika msitu wa Kieni ni ubunge la Gatundo Kaskazini mkewe Gladys Chani ametiwa nguvuni kama mshuki wa mkuu Chani ambaye alikuwa mwaniaji mwakilishi wa kike Kiambu katika uchaguzi uliopita ni miongoni mwa washuki wengine watatu ambao wanazuiliwa na polisi kubaini chanzo cha mauaji ya Mwangi yanaaminika kuwa ya kinyama zaidi kuwa hii kutekelezwa katika siku za hivi karibuni we have been able to get quite a, a number of uh, documentary evidence which we are collecting from that scene and we are still continuing on with investigation and uh, as we stand now i cannot be able to give you a uh, deeper and details about the matter since it's a very uh, sad story uh, and also uh, we do not want to reveal a lot like now as the matter is still under investigation Aidha maafisa wa polisi wamefanikiwa kupata baadhi ya silaha zinazoripotiwa kutumika na wahuni waliotekeleza unyama huo sawa na gari ambalo polisi wanaamini lilitumika kusafirisha mwili mwenda zake hadi msituni Kulingana na kamanda wa polisi kaunti ya Kiambu Muchangi Kioi, Mwangi aliwao nyumbani kwake katika kijiji cha Mangu kabla ya mwili wake kusafirishwa umbali wa takriban kilomita nane na kutupwa. Akizungumza baada ya operesheni ya satano hivi nyumbani kwake Mwangi ambako pia mkewe alikuwa, Kioi amefichua kuwa mwanamume mwingine mfanyakazi wa nyumbani ambaye amekuwa kishi kwa nyumba hiyo hapatikani. Na japo hakutoa taarifa zaidi kuhusiana na kupotea kwa mhudumu huyo, Kioya amesema kuwa wamefanikiwa kupata simu yake pamoja na ile mwenda zake Mwangi, huko akichukua pamoja na ile ya mkewe Chania. Well, we may not say that uh, the man happened here, but there are circumstances showing it really happened here. And uh, don't mind about the five hours which we have spent. We are going to spend almost four three days here. We have more five scenes to attend. Even from here now we are moving to another scene and also where the body was uh, recovered we are moving to that place and uh, then we continue with the investigation Mwili wa Mwangi aliyetoweka Jumapili tarehe 9 mwezi huu ulitambuliwa na mkewe Chania alipofika katika hifadhi ya maiti siku chache baada ya kumripoti kama mtu aliyepotea mara mbili mtawalia katika vituo vya polisi vya Mwea na Gachega Gatondo Kaskazini Jumatatu na Jumanne mtawalia taarifa zaidi zinasema kuwa mhandisi Mwangi alitarajiwa kurejea nchini Rwanda Jumali jalo baada ya kufika nchini mwezi huu. Sisilia wa Kesho Mathuva, KT News. Maji ukiyatafakari hayo tungie maduka